Hey everybody, it's Melissa again. Um, yes, I'm still in the same clothes. It's because it's still the same day. I'm catching up on videos um, that I didn't make when I started this vlog, but um, you know, whatever. This one today is about the dinghy. Now, anybody that's lived on a boat at anchor knows that the only vehicle you have is a is a dinghy. It's how you get back and forth to shore. If you don't have it, you're stuck on the boat. So uh, here's today's story. If you like it, go to buymeamargarita.com and hey, buy me a margarita. Well, the dinghy motor gave up the ghost, sort of. That is to say, it starts when it wants to and only if I talk to it not. You laugh, but I'm beginning to think I'm serious. The other day, my friend Paul took me back to West Marine to get the parts I would have got the first time, you know, if I'd measured around my ass to get to my elbow, but that's a previous post back. I got back and I was so excited I couldn't wait to finish up adding the two new batteries. I mean, who doesn't want more power? So anyway, I get out of the car, say goodbye, thank him, and invite him to come over Saturday and get drunk with me. I don't really drink, but, you know, every now and then. So I load everything into the dinghy and get it situated right so something doesn't go flying out as I speed my way across the anchorage. Oh, wait, that would be somebody else's dinghy. Mine is only a five horsepower. I speed nowhere. But anyways... I settle, settle myself in, pull out the choke, pull nothing. Ah, oh, crap, that's not good. This little motor normally starts first pull. So I try again. Again, nothing. Ah, uh, damn, she's going to be a bitch today, I can tell. Every now and then, if I don't talk to her right, caress her lovingly enough, or just really need to get somewhere, she takes, a, takes up the mind of her own and flat out decides I'm not going anywhere. I was doing this today. <clears throat> To my landlubber friends, this may not seem like a big deal, but it is. I live on my boat. I know I know no one here that would have a warm bed for me to crash in while my little motor gets over its little tip. At this point, I'm cussing this little motor like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. I'm cussing this little motor like there's no tomorrow. Doesn't it understand I have everything in my possession to put my new battery set up in, and I've been waiting to do it all week. This little motor doesn't care. She's not going to start no matter what I do. Frustrated and tired of pulling, I finally give up. She's beating me, but only for today. About this time, I see a friend of mine, well, more correctly, I hear a friend of mine's outboard running. It's pretty distinctive, so I yell across the anchors, and thankfully he hears me. He comes back in and tows me back to the boat. Now, normally this would have cost me hours of ribbing and defending my normally reliable little motor, but it just so happens the person I flagged down, well, I towed him, a couple time, towed him around a couple times last week, too, so it's all good. Frustrated and wanting to get the new battery set up, finished, I had like to leave the dinghy, but only until the next day. It was probably a good decision. About 9 a.m. the next morning, I go out and I talk nice to it, to it, tell, it to, tell it it's a good little motor, and start pulling. Nothing. Talking nice to it quickly turned into words I can't use here, and after 40 or so pulls throughout the day, I'm ready to give up. But there's always one more thing to do, one more thing to try. So I do. I pull the carburetor off, take it inside the mothership, and commence to tearing it apart. She's not dirty. She's nasty dirty. I don't have a carb cleaner on the boat, any carb cleaner on the boat, but I do the best I can, put it back together, and get online and order a carb rebuild kit. Damn, there goes $80. After calling Mercury for the second time a week, I find out that I have a motor that was built during a transition period for Mercury Mariner. Oh, great. That should make part, part, finding parts on the island just wonderful. Do you get my sarcasm? Yes. The new carb kit is on the way, and I go back out and climb into the dinghy and put it back together. With my fingers crossed and everything else that I can cross, cross, I start pulling again. As I pull for 20 or so more times, I start to resent even the pull start. Wouldn't a push button start be nice? I'm daydreaming. She's not starting. More, more words only a true sailor knows come to mind, and it's time to give up for the day. I've had enough. I'm greasy, I'm grimy, I'm tired, and most significantly, I'm beaten. She's won. For the day, anyway. The next morning I have another burst of hopefulness and go out at 7 a.m. and try or nothing. I only pull twice. I know at this point that if she doesn't start and sputter, or at least sputter the first time, she isn't going to. So out of sheer desperation I try one more thing. I leave the cover off, turn the motor so the sun hits her just right and warms her up. Maybe it's the cold. Thinking back, the other time she had refused to cooperate it was a little chilly out. What the hell, I'll try anything at this point. So I leave her, completely ignore her. I mean, I don't even look at this motor for five hours. That'll teach her, I think. So at 1 o'clock, I go out and haven't sufficiently ignored her for long enough. I go over the rail, climb down the swim ladder, and have a great, have a neat little seat right next to her in the dinghy. I rub her, and I pet her, and I say nice things to her, you know. So leave gently, I pull out her choke, and I say a silent prayer. I hate being stuck on the boat. Now, I rarely leave the boat, but 
but I want to be able to when I want to. With one last come on baby, I pull the pull start and she fires. Oh my god, she's going to start. I push the choke in, advance the throttle just a hair and pull her, pull her again. She sputters again. I'm excited now and I don't care who's watching. I pet her again and give her, come on baby, you can do it, and pull again. The third pull, she stutters to life and ran like a top, spitting out water from her little pee tube like every good little dingy motor should. So she will run again. I was getting worried there for a few minutes, but it is a good little motor, and now that I've got it, her little secrets figured out, she'll be a reliable little motor. I just have to keep her warm, say nice things to her, and pet her when I want to go somewhere. I can't explain the feeling of joy that it takes to over someone when they realize they got, when they're not stuck in the middle of the anchorage with no sh no way to get to shore. It's a great feeling. That's all for today. If you like this post, go to buymemargarita.com. Buy me a damn margarita. I need one after that. And, uh, hey, have a great day. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.